Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are an Outlook user using Outlook for the web or the new Outlook for Windows, then just to let you know about a couple of new tweaks and adjustments that Microsoft will be making over the next couple of months to uh, the different platforms for web and the new Outlook for Windows. And this is according to the latest Microsoft 365 roadmap and there's a total of three new features so you may find this of interest if you are using outlook as mentioned and these features will be released to outlook and windows uh, for the web in march of this year 2024 so they haven't rolled out yet but are going to be rolling out uh, in a couple of months now first of all um they are making improvements to reordering folders in outlook for windows and the web where the roadmap says that uh, you'll be able to arrange folders in any desired order by dragging and dropping the folders in the position that you want, says Microsoft from that roadmap, where currently that is not the case as far as I know uh, in the new Outlook and the Outlook for the web. So you'll be able to drag and drop your folders and rearrange them, which I think is a nice move. And then the next is they're also introducing two new ways to copy email items in the new Outlook for web and Windows, and that's using control and drag and drop. So basically what you will do when this rolls out is you will hold down the control key while dragging and dropping your email items. And the classic copy and paste method, control C and control V will also still be available. So Microsoft says, and when this feature does roll out, you'll just use control C to copy the email item and control V to paste it wherever you need. So that's a couple of improvements to copy email items in the new Outlook for the web and the new Outlook for Windows rolling out in March. And then uh, the third and final one is there's going to be a new ellipsis icon. So basically a hamburger menu that's going to be added to both platforms. And what they say from the roadmap is that um, a new ellipsis icon will appear in your left navigation bar. So here we go. When hovering the folders and accounts for a quick and easy way to create folders, subfolders, or execute the existing folder and account actions, ensuring a smoother workflow, says Microsoft. And as part of this update, they will also be removing creation links to provide what Microsoft says a more focused and user-friendly experience. And they also mentioned that the traditional right-click method will still be available for your convenience. So that's just a couple of changes, as mentioned, that Microsoft is making to the two Outlook platforms, the new Outlook for Windows and Outlook for the web. And just wanted to keep you posted um, if you are using uh, any of those two platforms. And those are three changes, which as mentioned, are not available as yet. And these new features will be made available in March of this year, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.